What's happening, chaps? Chaps and ladies, let's not forget the lady skippers. So are you joining me, the skipper of the ship, the wobbly catty? So we're heading out to sea to do some fishing on Barren Sea. Aha! So if you're wondering why I'm doing another video in this boat and why I haven't done the trawlers yet, it's because this this last fortnight, when I got a hold of this game and this game was released, I was actually doing PC um, PC upgrades and I, I got one or two technical problems <laughs> on the uh, on the PC. Um, no fault of the PC, it was uh, it was my fault. So it's uh, resulted in me um, restarting the game. So I'm back to start from right at the beginning again. I don't mind. I don't mind. So uh, that's the reason why I haven't done the, uh, the trawlers. I have had them ships. I have unlocked all the map, and I have earned absolutely loads of money. But because of the technical issues resulting on the PC, which were my fault, I've had to restart, restart the game. So hopefully from now, um, things should be, um, sh things should be ship shape, should we say. And if you notice there, I named my ship the Wet Dream, or Wet Dream. So welcome aboard the Wet Dream. What did you guys name your ships, by the way? Place it in the comments in the video section below. So I'm just going to check the quotas on the fish. We're okay as we're heading out on the quotas. They're fine. We're going to go to... Uh, let's check the good old sea charts. And you can see I've still got an awful lot of this map now to actually unlock. Um, I have previously unlocked it all. But um, I've got a... St we're starting again. So if you're new to this game, you know, this is, this is what you're going to be facing. A similar scenario to what I'm doing today. So, um... Let's check where it's where the most populated um, fish regions are. So we'll, it looks like it's Haddock. So we'll go in the direction of that. I don't want to overfish at the moment with me unlocking the whole of the map. So we'll just fast travel out because um, if I sail there, it's going to take a long time on the video. Um, so we'll we'll use the fast travel option today. So Abracadabra, here we are. So there's two or three fish, that'll do. <laughs> I'm not going to mess about, let's drop the net. Now, got to be careful not to rock the boat, Captain. There's a song in there, isn't there? Don't rock the boat, baby, rock the boat. <laughs> Shut up, don't start singing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Shouldn't be too bad on a calm sea. Just got to keep that slidey roughly in the middle. Keep it away from the left. And right, else we end up damaging the net. Don't rock the boat too much, bubbles. Having have having, let's try that again. Having had to restart the game, I can see how much work has gone in um, from when it was released. All the amount of updates because things have changed. I've, I've, they've possibly changed the uh, the variables on the on the fish rates. I think. I think it's a little bit more difficult. When I had, when I got hold of the game, I was given the game before it was actually actually released. I found it very easy to catch the fish in large quantities. I think they, they, they might have tweaked that a little bit because I don't know. I'm finding it a little bit more difficult this time around. Maybe it's just me, but um, I think they may have possibly changed it. So we dropped that one there. So let's head north. I think we'll go north. And I'm going to leave myself a little bit of distance in between the nets, um, just to allocate a little bit of time to collecting them. I, I think I think the nets, the minimum you leave the nets in is possibly eight hours. I think, and the maximum thirty hours. I think after thirty hours they start going off. So uh, I'm just going to spread them out a little bit. I'm only going to put four down, four or five, and I've got to dodge the little bits of areas of map that I haven't discovered. I'm not going to. Um, probably um, explore the map in this video it, it just takes too long so uh, we'll drop one here this looks a good area here so here we go abracadabra fast sailed and there's, uh, there's there's two fish anyway we've got a red fish <laughs> I can see a red fish in there on the old sonar in the right hand side I think my fish population needs to grow a bit more. So we'll drop the net. Oh, press the wrong key. No, 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 no. You're damaging the net there. Wobbles. I've got to try and recover that now. I wasn't ready. 
pressed the wrong key and I hold it down, I turn too sharply. So we damaged the net a little bit there. Hopefully we can recover and save it. We damaged nearly 50% of the net. That's not good. I normally use this boat um, for long lining only. I like to use this for long lining. I don't like to do the netting on this boat. Um, the main reason is when, you, when you're hauling the nets in, because you have to do that little bit on the keys, you actually have to come out of the wheelhouse and, uh, and help hauling the net in. And you have to press the, uh, the W, you know, and the A and the S, the S buttons. Um, in some sort of sequence, which I very often get wrong, so that's why I generally long line on this boat. Um, it's not too bad when you next get on to... Have you, you hear loads of people complaining on the Steam forums, don't you? Oh, these many games, these many games, oh, I don't like these many games. Um, when you get on the bigger boats, you don't have to touch that many games, you've got a crew to do it. You have a crew, guys, to do it. Once you get past this boat, the next one up, you can use your crew. Um, but yeah... It's, I find it quite amusing when I see, uh, when I see comments like that. Um, I, don't, I don't actually mind them personally. But, uh, anyway, we fast travel. Let's see what's here. There's a little bit of a drop off there. There's a few fish. Let's drop the net. Try not to damage it. But yeah, I, um, I generally use this boat for long line. It's not that I don't mind pressing them keys, it's just that I'm no good at it, so I generally use this for long lining. Well, hopefully we can get this net in the water now without actually damaging it. It's looking quite good. Beginning to uh, become a master at this now. Except it's a lot more difficult when the, uh, when the sea's rough. Nice and calm today, it's nice and calm, champs, nice and calm. Didn't look as though there was many fish down there on the sonar, but uh, we'll take pot lock, we'll take pot lock, and um, be a bit of a gamble, and we'll come back and see what we get. Hopefully we'll make loads of money. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at the map. And we will add north up this little channel I've cut in, I've cut into the map of, as I've explored it. We'll go and have a look here. I think this will be our fourth, and let's be our fourth one we're going to drop. So, here we are. There's one fish. And that's it. There's a red fish. I'm not too sure where to bother actually dropping the net here. There doesn't seem to be a great deal of fish on the sonar again. Don't know, there's nothing there now. Don't know whether to take a gamble and just drop the net here or just leave it. And, uh, I was going for five nets, but I might just put four out because I've got to keep an eye on the fuel as we're doing this um, fast travelling around. At the moment we've got plenty of fuel left. We can still get back to a harbour to uh, fuel up. Uh, there doesn't seem to be many fish there. There's, there, there. Well, I'm not exactly in the centre, but uh, I might just go around the corner and uh, drop one. Drop a net there. Let's just have uh, quotas are okay, aren't they? On the sonar. We just got the one fishy. <laughs> Come on, fishies! Where are you? I might leave this one, I might leave this area actually because I've dropped the net in quite a few places where there wasn't an actual lot of fish showing up in the sonar so I don't want it to be an epic fail, there's another one. Too sure what to do. I'll never take a gamble on it. Now I think I'll leave this area, I think I'll go round the corner and go round there. So I'm going, I've got a I'm going to fast travel just around this little channel I've cut into the map because um, it'll take me too long to explore, cut through the map there. Although there is a quick way at the moment, I'll show you that. I'll show you that shortly. I'll show you that later on, unless they patched it up. Alright, let's, let's have a look here. Have we got any fishies here? Well, we've got one. We're not picking an awful lot up on the sonar, are, are we? Maybe the deeper down in the sonar is not picking the uh, full depth up. I don't know. But, uh, 
I'm going to drop the net anyway because I want to drop at least four nets. Hopefully that will give us a nice return. It's going to be a gamble. There's not many fish showing up. There's a red fish. <laughs> we'll see if we can net him. <laughs> be pulling these nets in and we'll just be having <laughs> one fish in them. Now, now, of course, there may be a reason why there's not many fish um, sh um, showing up on that sonar. I don't know, but at the moment in the game, when the point in the game where I am and um, how much of the map I've actually unlocked, I have actually been out and done an awful lot of long lining in these areas and catching an awful lot of fish. And I haven't really um, skipped a day or skipped a week and um, possibly, you know, the fish haven't recovered. Um, in population. I've just been consistently going out, not skipping a day or a week, so uh, I might have a bit of a low population problem regarding fish at the moment in these areas on the map. Has anybody overfished, overfished it yet on their maps? Have, you, have any of you guys overfished it at all? Let me know in the comments section below. Right, so we'll drop that there. And uh, I'm going to head back um, so we got one, two, yeah, we got four out, that'll do, we got four out, and I'm going to head back to the first port, uh, that I actually, um, started from, to go back, fuel up, I know it's a bit long-winded, I'm going to go back, fuel up, and then we'll head out and, uh, collect the nets, hopefully they all should be ready. So chaps, that's it, the captain doesn't rest, the captain's back out, the crew can rest, but the captain never rests. So bring the coffee up to the wheelhouse, get on the old blower there, we want the we want the crew to bring the captain plenty of coffee. Coffee keeps the captain awake, so we're heading straight out, and hopefully if I time this right, my first net should be at its optical pickup point out. Should be hopefully turning blue. <laughs> So it should be at its optical timing. Let's have a look. There's the first net. It's currently on green. Okay, so by the time I get there, we'll fast travel. Hopefully, that's not going off. Because if that one's going off, then all the rest are going to go off. There you go. That's at its optical peak time for collection now. So we're going to haul that net in. And hopefully, we'll fill the boat if we're lucky. But there didn't seem to be many fish around, did there? Um, when we were actually uh, dropping the nets. The main advantage, of course, to netting is you don't have to pay for any bait, so um, you save a little bit of money. Generally, you'll see me long lining on this boat. Now it does help if you uh, if you go in the right direction. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing then. Where's the boy? Where's the boy? Go and find the boy. Where is it? <laughs> that was an epic fail, wasn't it? I'm so used to having a full crew doing this nowadays that I forgot on this boat that the crew doesn't actually haul it in. I've actually got to press the button. There we go. <laughs> so used to having a full crew. So it's back on the keys. The captain's on the keys. How well are we going to do? W. W again, D. Hey, hey, yes, D. Oh no, we're breaking the net. Nice red fish there. Oh, we're going to break the net, I think. 
How well have we done anyway? What have we got? That doesn't look too bad. That doesn't. That doesn't look too bad for a boat of this size. Uh, we'll leave that for now. I just want to see how much of the boat we filled up. Yes, we nearly filled the whole of the boat. So I'm not going to have a much much room. If I go north now and collect the tin, that other net, I'm not going to have enough space, um, much c capacity left to put the fish on board. So really, I need to head to uh, head to a harbour to unload this. Um, so what I'll do is uh, we'll put uh, the crew member on the gut in. He can do the slicing and dicing, and the skipper will head north. Well, we've got to go north anyway, so I'm going to drop... Um, I'm, go I'm, I'm going to go into, uh, where should we go? I'm going to go into that harbour up the top there. Head north. So we're going in the right direction. And uh, that's, gone off. that's gone a little bit off, but it doesn't matter. We'll just fast travel in there. We'll load, we'll unload, should I say. We'll sell the fish up there and then we'll, uh, we'll come back out of that harbour. And they just hit the optical time now that them nets have there. It, the optical time. So we've got to be quick now because they will start going off. Bearing in mind we've got the travel time to get there as well. So I'm okay on fuel, not actually burned a great deal of fuel. But, uh, we'll turn and burn here as quick as we can. I'm not going to gut the whole of the fish. We're not going to slice and dice them all. We'll just turn and burn and head back out. Captain doesn't sleep. So what have we got? Let's have a look. Don't Shouldn't be too bad. No, it's not too bad that. Quite happy with that. That'll do. Pays for the fuel and pays for the wages. Okay, so we're still in reasonably good time to collect these nets, so hopefully we'll get a good return off this. Once they start turning red, that little uh, that little um, line around the boys there, um, it means that they are going off. Ideally, you want to collect them when they're blue, because you'll get more fish, I think, when they're, when they're blue. So here we go. What? Let's see what we've got. Come on, I'm going to have to back up. <laughs> what are you doing, Wobbles? Just turn it round. I should get it. Should get it from this side now. There we go. Yes, I want to haul it in. Right, Wobbly's on the keys. The key master. Another nice red fish there. Look at that, Captain Supper. Wonder what they taste like, them redfish. My favourite's cod. Love a bit of cod. Fish and chips. Do they have fish and chips up on Baron Sea? I bet they don't, do they? <laughs> do they? <laughs> don't they? <laughs> Not do they. Right. There we go. Storage is full. So that was that was actually a very good return. Very, very good return. Now I'm going to have a go with the mini game here. Shouldn't be too bad because the sea's not rough. It's nice and steady. And since I last played this, they have changed this. I used to have to use the hole on my desk, which was very difficult because I've got a G27 um, wheel on for the racing games and a shifter on my desk near my keyboard. So I've not got a great deal of room um, to maneuver my mouse. Basically, basically, with my mouse, all I can do is just turn it slightly to the left and slightly to the right. That's the, and just up and down slightly. 
got very little room for, for maneuver but they have improved this uh, this little mini game I don't mind this mini game but when I get on the bigger boats though the uh, I get the crew to do all this there we go getting good at this now the captain's just showing the crew how it's done these are the standards I expect on my ship <laughs> Well, three stars would be better. <laughs> oh, that one was terrible. One star, it's getting worse. Oh dear, never mind. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't move. <laughs> My legs are stuck in the gutting table. I can't move. If I press the key, there we go. Puts me in the wheelhouse, hopefully. That's it. That's cool. Right. I'm going to put this chappy on repairs and just see if he actually repairs the nets I don't know will he repair the nets that have damaged hopefully he will I'll have to wait I won't know will it till I get back to work uh, until we get back to harbour and, and I do an inspection so we got a full boat there look at that that was a good return so we haven't got enough room to put these on which are, that one's at its optical time now to pick up so I'm gonna have to turn and burn real quick and get in here and uh, unload And by the way, the ship is fully, um, it's fully upgraded, the ship is, so if, you know, if you're thinking, why don't you, um, upgrade your capacity, your storage on your ship, this, this, this boat is fully upgraded now, um, regarding capacity. So we're turning and burning, what's the crew doing? Bring me coffee, bring me coffee, Captain wants some coffee, I haven't slept for days, it's alright for the crew, they get to sleep, but we'll work them hard when we get to the other end, right, I need to race over now very very quickly, get up there, keeping an eye on me fuel, and uh, get up there and collect them, because they are due to be collected, we're gonna start turning and going off. We should be okay. Let's see. What have we got? Let's put the crew to work. Well, he has been on repairs. No, you're not having a rest, buddy. You're going there. <laughs> right, here we go. I actually prefer in this game, I actually prefer the first three boats. I'm not a big fan of the trolling. I have done the trolling. Um, I'm not, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of on the fence about it. I like the big boats and everything, but uh, I, I, I prefer the, uh, the, the three first boats because I'm just a little bit more active on them. I don't, I don't do a lot of trawling, although I will do some trawling when I, because I've actually restart this game now, so I've yet to earn them um, ships. It won't be long. Um, as soon as I get them, I'll, I'll, I will do some trawling. Um, I didn't do them when I did have them. The reason I didn't do a video on them is because some of the things at the time weren't working as they should have done. And I didn't want to put a, a video up on on YouTube of the uh, of the uh, the solar the, the scanner system. Um, not working correctly so I think they've uh, updated it all now and it's uh, hopefully it's all working as it should do so that's the reason why I didn't do the trawling beforehand um, I wanted everything working as it should before I uh, before I put the videos up but as soon as I unlock them boats will be on them but um, yeah my, my favorite boats are the first three boats so we're going to put the crew member on there and again we've nearly filled the boat off that lot so we need to head back I'm going to head back to a different harbor this time I'm going to unlock this map I'm going to explore this map section here um, but I'll show you a quick way because they keep changing this you used to be able to just um, fast travel around it and it would unlock but they patched it up so you can't do that now and um, if you do it this way until they see this video once they see this video they'll probably patch it up and stop you doing this because I don't know if you if, if this is intended that you should be able to do this if you just fast travel to the edge of the map what you want to unlock accelerate it unlocks a big chunk of it and then just keep repeating and doing the same and you can quickly get through a section of the map now when they see this they'll probably patch it up straight away and stop stop you stop me from doing this but um 
because they have done a lot of patching, I think, on the unlocking of the map, because you used to just be able to fast travel around it and, you, and you'd unlock it really quickly. But uh, this is the only way that you can do it at the moment, quickly. There you are. Fast travel to the edge of it, it accelerates, and it will unlock quite a proportion. See how quickly I've unlocked that cut through there now. Okay, chaps, so we're, we're back up here now. We're collecting the uh, the last ones. I'm here just in time before they go off. Now, if you happen to get here a little bit later and you're late collecting, if you, let me just waste a bit of time here. They will um, change colour to red, which means that they uh, they are going off and you won't catch as many fish. And uh, if, if you leave them in the red too long, the net will break and um, will go off and you, you just lose the entire the entire lot of your catch so I'm just wasting a bit of time going round and um, they should go on red I'm burning fuel as well while I'm doing this but I'm, I'm just showing this just in case you never play the game see they're starting to go off now so you know I do need to get and <laughs> pick them up right because I messed about a little bit uh, going around just explaining that little bit. The, I, I'm not expecting a big catch here now because um, the the net is uh, is going off. So back on the keys. There we go. <laughs> That's not a lot, is it? What have we got? Yeah, there you go. We got about a quarter of a boat. But uh, yeah, that's because the, the we were a little bit late. I was wasting a little bit of time there, chaps. Um, so you've got to time it right uh, in between going back and forth and back and forth. And if you get, you know, you, you, if you're filling your, your boat near enough on every haul, uh, then you can't go up to the next one back going into port. So you've got to consider all that into the logistics of picking up the nets. So thanks for watching, guys. You've been watching the captain of the ship, the Wobbly Captain. In case you didn't know, Wobbly Captain is my game attack. Because so many people ask me why I come to Wobbly Captain. In fact, I'm now stuck on my banner on front of the, on top of the YouTube up there. If it's still up there, if I haven't changed it yet again, it says Wobbly Captain. It's my game attack. I've had it for many, many years. So don't forget guys, if you haven't subscribed, maybe consider subscribing because um, I get new games nowadays sent into the channel um, quite a lot, so uh, I put them up so you get to see one or two new games that are coming out, as well as my regular games, such as this, which is going to be a regular game that I, uh, that I play. So if I get 20 likes for this video, I'll see you all again real soon on Fishing on Barrent Sea. Thanks for watching guys, let's just see what the scores were, what did we get for the catch, let's have a look, as we dock. There we go, that's not too bad, cod, cod, quite happy with that, we didn't get a full boat did we, there we go. Not bad, not a bad little return. Thanks for watching, guys.